Another thing we're really excited about on the new iPhone 4 is the Retina display. It's the highest resolution display ever built into a phone. At 326 pixels per inch, you get four times the pixels as before. So instead of the fuzziness of individual pixels, you get smooth, continuous shapes and tone. You have something that looks to your eye like you're holding a printed page in your hand. The display is what the iPad's all about. So when you enhance the display, you enhance everything. And the Retina display on the third generation iPad is just spectacular. It's got a resolution of 2048 by 1536. That's 3.1 million pixels, four times more than the previous iPad, and over a million more than what's called high definition on other devices. And we've packed all these pixels into a display that's just 9.7 inches. But engineering it wasn't as simple as just jamming in more pixels. A pixel is made up of red, green, and blue subpixels, with a signal telling each one when and how much to light up. That's how colors are created. But when you squeeze four times the pixels into the same space, signals can get crossed, colors become distorted, and images get fuzzy. To solve this, we had to elevate the pixels onto a different plane and separate them from the signals. It's a major breakthrough. And it's the key to making the pixels so small and so close together that the human eye can't even distinguish them. So type looks razor sharp, and you'll see details in photos that you never knew were there. A wider color gamut brings out even more detail and gives you colors that are incredibly rich, deep, and vivid. This isn't just the most advanced display you've ever held in your hand. It's the most advanced display you've ever seen. For the first time, we're bringing the Retina display to the Mac. It's the highest resolution display we've ever put in a notebook. With a resolution of 2880 by 1800, this display has over 5 million pixels. That's 3 million more than an HDTV. At this resolution, on this screen size, pixels just seem to disappear. You see an extraordinary level of detail in your photos. And typography looks amazing. It's sharper than a printed page. The retina display. What's that? <laughs> well, in any display, there are pixels. Here's four of them. We start off with the retina display by dramatically increasing the pixel density. Four times as many pixels in the same amount of space. Now, why is that important? Well, let's make more pixels. And let's say we want to draw the letter A. And this is the outside boundary of one of the strokes of a letter, the letter A. Well, as you can see, we turn on pixels inside that stroke, we can get far more precision the more pixels we have. And we play all sorts of tricks by putting different levels of gray pixels on that line as well to try to fuzz it for our eye. But when we zoom out of this, what you can see is that because we have four times as many pixels, we get really, really sharp text compared to what we normally get on displays of lesser resolution. Now, the retina display has 326 pixels per inch. This is... There's never been a display like this on a phone. People haven't even dreamed about a display like this on a phone. But it's more than that. It turns out that there's a magic number right around 300 pixels per inch that when you hold something around 10 or 12 inches away from your eyes is the limit of the human retina to differentiate the pixels. And so they're so close together when you get at this 300 pixels per inch threshold that all of a sudden things start to look like continuous, continuous curves. Like text looks like you've seen it in a fine printed book unlike you've ever seen on an electronic display before. And at 326 pixels per inch, we are comfortably over that limit. And it's extraordinary.